Hello YouTube. It is uh, late February and we're going to sleep outside today. There's a warm fire going. Girlfriend's backpack. My backpack. And this is where we will sleep tonight. This dangerous two on the one top. Yes, I will be the one uh, below. So this will be where we will sleep tonight. Now it's time to make a, a bannock. All right, made some dough. With this elk milk powder and regular all pepper flour and baking powder, water, and a bit of salt. And I'm gonna make a bannock in my skillet. And there he is, the little bannock. I'm gonna make him I'm gonna put him on the fire. Just like that. Might be a little bit too hot for the bannock. But we will see. Also making some beef jerky. With the chili and the pepper and salt. I hope it will be good eating. The bread feels and looks like it's done. Well, this is uh, my first bannock, so I don't know. I'll check it out. That is as good as done. A little bit wet still here, but uh, if we let it cool down a little bit, this will uh, this will get better. Very nice. Mm. Tastes great. I got this little stove from uh, China for six dollars, and uh, I like it pretty much. Put 250 ml in water on top and we'll see how long it takes to boil. Alright, that took around 4 minutes on medium heat. So that is a very convenient and cheap gas stove. Turn it off. And that cost me only about six dollars. So uh, I wouldn't rely on it for survival situation, but for a push crop craft trip like this, uh, it's perfect. 
I actually don't know what we're doing anymore. Are we doing bushcraft or are we doing outdoor cooking the whole day? <laughs> I think we're doing outdoor cooking. A nice soup. Bannock. Bush life is good. Mm. All this damage is done by our native wild boars. They they belong in this forest, but look at the holes that they dig. They're quite big. We are in boar territory. These fungi have uh, grown rather big. These are nice tinder for carrying your fire. Anybody home? This one is uh, rotten already. Won't be any good. And these are beautiful. Very old. It has been around uh, four hours. And beef jerky is uh, good enough for us to eat. Mmm, yeah, that tastes great. It's time for dinner. We have some rice cooking in the zebra billy can. And we have two pieces of chicken on the grill. We've also got uh, some corn on the fire as well. Ladies and gentlemen, a simple but good filling bush meal. Bon appetit. Good morning. Um, it rained a little bit on us tonight, but um, I slept quite well. It was a bit cold. It was uh, around five degrees Celsius, I think. But uh, it was okay. So now we're going to start a fire again and uh, make ourselves some uh, breakfast. So this is my uh, fire kit. I've got a storm lighter. I've got these uh, everlasting matches. I don't really like these, but I've got. The storm matches, wind and waterproof. I've got magnesium rod. I've got a zippo ripoff. And I've got some regular matches and some char cloth inside here. And also have a magnesium bar without a handle and stuff. So yeah, I think I have almost all ways of lighting a fire inside here. Um, I don't have a flint. Um, but I can put it in here. I've got it. Uh, I've got it ready to go.
All right, so we got a fire going. I built like this, so uh, enough uh, oxygen can uh, come in. Okay, let's get breakfast. All right, for breakfast, I have some of these cereals. I keep it here. We call it Grusli. I don't know what this is called in English. But we need some milk. So we have this uh, elk milk powder. I'm gonna make half a liter milk by putting half a liter water inside here. And this is why I really like the Nalgene bottle, because of uh, the measurements. It's really handy for bushcraft. And the whole sachet of milk powder. Gonna stir it with my spork. This is low fat milk. Because um, I prefer the low fat milk. Maybe when I'm going to hike or something, I will take the full fat milk. And there you have it milk with small lumps. <laughs> There you have it, milk and cereal. <laughs> this uh, Silky Pocket Boy 130 is um, a really nice pocket sole to carry uh, with you for everyday carry or uh, just on a bushcraft uh, trip like this. And uh, this, these pine twigs are really nice to uh, crank up your fire really fast. They burn like crazy. And this saw is incredibly fast. And um, so the handle is very uh, ergonomic and it feels really robust. See that? Very fast soul. Oh, I believe you guys call this an evergreen, not a pine tree. This is a pine tree. Ja, 
and it's time for lunch already. We have some sausages, a piece of meat and another bannock. And this one looks more bannock-like, flat. And again, I'm eating. Mm. Penning is good and simple. I really love these um, cast iron uh, skillets. And again, ladies and gentlemen, we are cooking. These bushcraft fried chickens are almost ready. I must say, they look delicious. The rice is cooking on my little stove. On low heat. Just boiling. Nice pendant rice. Skillet bushcraft fried chicken. Mm. And <laughs> that's really good. <laughs> Not much uh, different than uh, yesterday, but it's still delicious. And uh, tomorrow. I'll have regular food again. Bon appétit. That was the end. We are going home. See you. Thank you for watching.